Hi everyone! Welcome to MRC Talk Time! Thank you for being here this evening for MRC Career Talk Time. I'd like to welcome you all here today. My name is Nurul Ain. And I'm Fatih. From MRC HQ, your host for today. So Fatih, what will be the topic of our discussion today? It's about how MRC made a difference in teachers' lives. Before we start our agenda, let me introduce our speakers for today. They are Teacher Kathy, Teacher Liz Liu, Teacher Yap Ziki, Teacher Gomati, Teacher Silvarani, Teacher Vesalam, and the last one, Teacher Shirley. Wow, all of them seems really senior in their teaching field. Next, Fatin. We will proceed to our panel sharing. Let's welcome Teacher Kathy from Cebu, Sarawak. Hello, everyone. Kathy here. I'm from Cebu, Sarawak. I'm a holder of Bachelor of Design with Honor. I'm a principal for 3Q3 Bintan. This is my team member. How I know about MRC. Before graduate, I started to search a job and I don't have any direction for my career. I get to know MRC from my friend who work in MRC. At first, I do not know anything about MRC. After I get the offer letter, I have been informed that I will have three month training in KL. When I first time go for the MRC basic training, I'm so surprised that there are a lot of teachers come from different states to attend this training. I still remember that there are more than 100 teachers that join the basic training. It is such a big organization. After three month training, I get the offer to stay permanent in KL branch. After the deep consideration, I decided to accept the offer as I think that KL has a better chance to develop my career. I started to attend a lot of HQ training. Through the training, the trainer always asked me to have a goal setting for my career. So, I started to set my goals so that I can move forward to achieve my goal. My leader, Mr. Andrew, is a person always lead and guide me. Very soon, I have been promoted to quality head. I help my leader to guide the new teachers and check the teacher's lesson plan. After one year, I become a principal coach at 3Q3 Bintang branch. At the same time, I also decided to take diploma in early childhood. It is really a challenge for me, working while studying. When I told my mother about this decision, she strongly disagreed, as she feel that I need to further my study as a master instead of diploma. She feel that I was downgrade myself and it is wasting my time. But from my point of view, this is a stepping stone to my career path. So how do you convince your mother to support your decision, teacher? After a few arguments, I insist on my position because I find that I really like this career. I will prove to my mother that my decision today is correct. Besides, I prove that taking early childhood education is really helpful to my career. Slowly, my mother see the changes in my life and my career. Finally, my mother accept my decision. Then she gradually support what I did. 
as a PC, it is quite challenging for me. I need to learn how to communicate with parents, how to lead my team members, how to do the report and etc. At the same time, I know that to manage a kindergarten is not that easy. I need to lead my team member as how my leader lead me. I always have a personal talk with my teacher to have a hard connection. I will plan together with them about their career in MRC. I'm also very grateful that I can become a part of MRC. My next goal is to open another two branches for coming two years and build up my team member up to 20 teachers. Thank you. This is my sharing. Thank you, Teacher Katie, for your humble sharing. What an impressive journey for Teacher Katie, who already become a PC within two years. Wow, complex teacher. Okay, just now we already hear Teacher Katie sharing about her carry parts. Without wasting any time, we proceed to our next speaker, Teacher Liz Liu. Hello, a very good evening, everyone. Thank you for staying with us at this moment here through Facebook Live. I'm Liz Liu, one of the admission from SMM MRC Education Group. Tonight, I'm going to share with you why I want to be a merchant. It was a day, I just took a call to inquire a daycare, um, a daycare center of MRC Jazzy um, Park in Jinjiang Selatan. It forged a relationship between my little Michelle Lau and my team members now. And you know, as a mother, I got the right to choose the right learning environment for my kids, my daughter. Then I made my smart decision and my kid has been part of JSD program until now. And this is here then, um, year 2017, my team leader, Michelle Lau, as uh, you know, I was a teacher of secondary high school and the lecturer in the college. Then she offered me to be a part-timer teacher at, at, uh, in JSP, as well as I can keep an eye at my daughter. You see this picture, uh, year 2018, the first time I'm together with my team member, we joined the MRC Education Galactina in Camden Highland. You see the, those who are wearing Chong someone is my daughter. And then this like, um, year 2018 uh, is mine. Uh, later, he said, he tell me, uh, Liz, why not you join the BOP training? Uh, then I convinced myself to be a full-time teacher. As a committed teacher, I was willing to attend all the skill up training. That's why my leader, Mr. Shelly Lau, said that so you will move forward to your mind stream. So year 2019, I together with Anne as student, it was a wonderful, uh, our gala dinner. Mm. I think uh, the year 2019, I just stepped on the first step. I got the uh, CI recognition as a two years long service. It's such a beginning. So since that, uh, I become, I promoted as a principal coach. That's why a uh, principal coach, a uh, committed educated, I need to learn all the skill up uh, training through management, communication, and so on. Just how to uh, attract why we choose MRC. So I love um, children. I love teaching and also uh, being an MRC. I want to tell you, we always, uh, there will be a charity day nationwide Malaysia. We do the charity work on a day, but the different time. For my center, we carry out the MRC nationwide charity. That's why we say that it's a very touch heart uh, culture company. And then this one, 
uh, not only academic knowledge, uh, teaching in the classroom, but also I love outdoor education for my children. So you see that the, this is uh, one of our wonderful memory of the holiday camps cooking class. No, I need to tell you, there's a very uh, interesting to tell you that the parents can also could be our teacher, teach students learning is fun and easy. So there's uh, also one of the wonderful outdoor education memory. Teachers and children, uh, we, go, we got chance to learn the actual social knowledge, which cannot learn from the textbook, you know. So I love, so just um, my team member. Uh, that's why this is my JSB team member, uh, the teacher. So we always keep good connections. Why we are need to go to keep connection because we care each other. So that's all I need to tell you. Grow your teaching skill and career. We always keep training and uh, brainstorming. Why? My teacher always asks me, teacher Liz, what we need to uh, always keep training. Yes, that must be because we need to skill up all our performance. Uh, you know why? One day, you not only just a teacher, but you also can be a principal coach and also can uh, running your business as an education group. So this one is uh, another life skill master, mastery that's enhance a student potential through performance art. And then this one. Um, this is very attract. You feel alive to the degree that you feel you can help others. Why? Right? Uh, I always want to say with you, the children sometimes they don't love uh, to be study, but what we need to do is we need to give them guides. Ah, then. I also tell myself, no matter who I teach, I try to try my best to guide you. So come here, sharing is caring. That's why I'm here. I want to keep learning. That's, I want to tell you one thing, one very important thing. What is it? Uh, just want to share with you. If you are looking for a job, that give you opportunity to do what you are good at, just come with me. It's, uh, it's just for my own opinion, helping people just to help themselves, a simple dance. Uh, this will come from my father. That's why I join MRC, because uh, MRC mission is help others achieve their dreams. Okay, then you will get yours. That's why uh, for my sharing, Wow, teacher, I feel so inspired right now. But can you share with us your biggest struggle in your service uh, within these four years, teacher? The biggest struggles uh, got many, but I'm the one who love change uh, challenge. The time management, uh, we always need to, how to adjust, get a uh, clear and balance. What a wonderful journey, Teacher Liz. Such an experienced journey you have. Thank you, Teacher Liz Liu. So, Ayn, who is our next speaker? Our next speaker will be Teacher Gomati. Hi, Teacher Gomati. Are you ready to share with us about your experience in MRC as a PC for eight years? Okay, Teacher, let's start your sharing.
सॉरी गोमती गोमती नो साउंड हेलो हाय हाँ ओके सो बोलिए स्टामेली ओ सॉरी सॉरी या ओके बेटा नहीं तो देखा ओके टीचर ओके Hi, good evening to everyone. Sorry for technical problem. Uh, I'm Gomadi. Today I'm here to share about my journey at MRC. After I complete my SPM, I work in a private kindergarten as a teacher, and I worked there for four years as a teacher. After deep consideration, I decided to resign because I feel that I should gain more working experience. Then, in 2016, I joined MRC as a course instructor. My principal sent me for basic training at MRC HQ. I was so excited because my previous kindergarten didn't provide any training for teachers. That training was really useful to me on my job. It not just guide me how to handle my work. It also lead me to my teacher's career path. Besides that, I also consistently joined the HQ event quarterly platform. conference in 2018 second quarter i was promoted as quality head and at the same year fourth quarter i was promoted as center supervisor i assisted my principal in handling teachers teaching quality marketing plan and parents inquiry and organized school activities mrc also making my life fun and easy In that following year, I get an opportunity to promoted as a principal coach. I was so happy because it proved my hard work in MRC. Okay, teacher, how you get to develop yourself to become the entrepreneur in MRC career path as your platform? Okay, in MRC, this big family, it is a really big platform for us to prove our entrepreneurship. Actually, it's not easy to come to this position. I face so many problems, example like time management, staff problems, parents problems, and family problems too. Attend training always is the best way to improve myself. I always try my very best to join all the company and team meeting. Same to my team members. Whatever instruction or direction passed from my by leader. I will follow and make sure my team members also follow. For example, when government announced MCO in 18 of March, all of us are very nervous. Very fast, we get the instruction to start our online class within three days. MRC HQ provides software knowledge through Zoom to my team members and parents, so that our students can continue study even school close. Miss Sisalam was my mentor. Whenever I get down and lost direction, I will meet my mentor and discuss with her. My mentor will guide me and help me by giving suggestions. MRC career path colorful my life. MRC career path make my dreams come true, and I was given a position as enroll growth engineer now. I'm handling two centers. Lastly, I conclude my sharing with some people want it happen, some people wish it happen, and others make it happen. Thank you. That's all my my sharing. Thank you, Teacher Gomati, for your sharing just now. It's an impressive journey in MRC, right? Okay, Fatin. Let's move on to our next speaker. Hi, Teacher Ya. Are you ready to share with us your career journey as part of Emerson for eight years? Hello, everyone. I'm Jiki here. Yeah, actually, uh, I'm the person in charge of the three Q Jalan Ipo. Today, I will share my story to become Emersons. Actually, this is my first job after completing my SPM. After complete my SPM, I'm just like others friends looking for a part time job because I'm still waiting my result. So that time, 
I'm joined through Q through my friend introduction, and I'm an assistant teacher and without any knowledge and experience, I'm just think that mm, I like kids. From that is my first time to know about the MRC. What is whole brain? What is early childhood? So after a few months, I was decided to join the diploma in early childhood education after get my results. It was year 2012. Yeah. From the year 2012 to 2015, I was a student. At the same time, I'm also an assistant teacher at MRC. So at my last year of diploma, I'm back for my observation report and practical. After I complete my diploma, I'm formally become a course instructor in MRC. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. How did okay. your life change after joining MRC? Um, yeah, I started to attend all the training course for HQ. MRC is very different with other kindergarten. Why? Because first time I know that as a teacher, not only teaching, we have opportunity to be promoted to be quality head, center supervisor, and finally, we'll manage a center. And also, really different that I learned from a book is needs gained more and more working experience. I'm also surprised that HQ always provide training to us to upgrade ourselves and learn more and more new knowledge. I must have a guideline for those have a big dreams and goals teacher. So from that, I strictly follow HQ's career path. When I am in age 21, yeah, I'm already become a principal of a center. At the same time, I also get a formal recognition from HQ during the National Entrepreneur Conference. I'm really thanks to my leader, Shelly Lau. Yeah, she really, really helped me a lot. And she always step, step by step to teach me and give me the confidence. Um, in year 2019, it's a wonderful year. This is because our team successfully to achieve our team KPI. That is 3 million per annual. At the same time, I also promote be, a, uh, be an enrolled growth engineer. I was handled to center now. Um, for coming years, my target is become senior growth engineer. It means I will handle for center. And last but not the least, I will share a video to conclude my sharing. Yeah, the video is the live from my join the MRC
Okay, thank you, Teacher Yap, for your beautiful sharing just now. So, Fatin, we proceed to our next panel. Our next panel will be Teacher Rani. Hi, Teacher Rani. Are you ready to share with us your career journey as part of Emerson for 14 years? Yes, thank you. Hi, good evening, everyone. I'm Miss Rani. And I'm the Android Growth Engineer, and now handling two centers that are Trikyu Sugambut and Trikyu Sri Delima. I would like to thank to HQ who give an opportunity to do the sharing to this talk time. Okay, I'll start my sharing. Before join MRC, I was I worked as a general clerk for seven years. Due to company closed down, I joined MRC as a course instructor in year 2006. At first, I worked as a half day teacher. For my impression, become a preschool teacher uh, should be an easy job because just taking care of a small kids, uh, so play with them and teach the basic knowledge so very fast, I realized that it's very challenging work in MRC. First time I heard about whole brain development. I learned how to teach small kids, organize the activities and so on. Besides that, I also need to attend a lot of training in HQ, especially Saturday and Sunday. Through the training, I start to think about my career, a CI career path. How to do marketing, how to become a pickup person to my company, my family, and myself. My family members do not agree with my time spent on the weekends. I have to change time that I will make it happen. After one and a half year, I was promoted to a center supervisor. I helped my PC to manage the centers, arrange marketing activities, parents inquiry. I realized that I really enjoy my work. And finally, I decided to work for my career. With my husband's support, I become a full-time teacher. It's a full day teacher. I become a PC in year 2017. Thank you to my leader, Mr. Andrew, for giving me a chance to handle a center. My leader, Mr. Andrew, even though he's a Chinese, he's willing to give me a chance to become a principal coach as he is impressed with my capabilities. Thank you, HQ, for giving me so many training on how to manage a center, how to lead my teacher, and most importantly, how to dream and set my goal to improve and achieve higher results. I was further promoted to EGE in year 2019. Besides become a PC in my center, I also become a mentor to my junior PC. I will guide and lead her when she need my assistance. My responsibility become more and more. And I also facing a lot of challenges, especially in manpower problems. Sometimes I need, I, I really feel tension, but I always attend HQ training meeting and team meeting. Through the meeting, I always get the strength and power to move on. Thank you, Dr. Lim. Thank you, my leader, Ms. Shirley, and all my colleagues. Okay, Teacher Rani, may I know who is your spirit burner behind your success? And what makes you keep going in developing your career? 
Okay, uh, my spirit burner is my leader, Miss Shirley. She's motivate me in a task performance, knowledge, sharing behavior, innovation, to work hard, harder to achieve my goal. My drive and ambition make me keeping, keep going in developing my career. Okay. I will continue my sharing. In MRC, the four parties work together. We should not feel lonely. As long as we follow procedure, never ask why. I know I always have a big support behind. It's, it's an emotion. Besides that, I also have a chance to join the educational tour with my leader to Korea in year 2018 month. It's it's so a really a wonderful trip. My next step is to become a junior growth engineer, JGE, with three centers. I will put in more effort to achieve this yes. It's a beautiful journey, teacher Rani. Got struggles, but still keep going. I'm sure this spirit is really important in our life, right, I? Yeah, we have to be always motivated, guys. So, our next speaker is Teacher Vestalam. Hi, Surya. Hi, a very good evening to everyone. I'm Michelle. Today, I would like to share about my passion and journey on become a, a emotion in this big family. After complete my SPM, I choose educational life as my career. I start my journey as a teacher in a private kindergarten for almost two years. Then, in 2007, I joined MRC. One of my friends recommended me to join this kindergarten. So, I joined, in, I joined as a course instructor, CI. When I joined MRC, I found that MRC is a very different compared to some other kindergarten. For me, the best part of MRC are very care on product innovative, teacher's quality, and CI career part. I can be a promote and I can have a chance to manage a center. My career part make my dream come true. I was given the positions of center supervisor come principal in 2017. I was promoted as a principal coach in same year. At that moment, I feel a highest level responsibility on my shoulder to handle one branch on my own. This exposed me to be a first one, one non-Chinese privileged member in SNN Educational Group. My career, my career journey is a full of challenges happy upset downs has a moment that i think want to give up because of the pressure <laughs> luckily i don't i don't do that if not it all has i today i think i can drop as, a, as i have the opportunity to meet one to one ceo meet i can i can go meet with a few big boss to present my goal and my team development. His encourage and motivation me during the meeting. I'm looking forward for my goal become senior growth engineer. Okay, teacher, what a best practice to cooperate with your team member. Okay. Uh, actually, I always having a meeting with my leader. Whatever issue and discuss, make 
in the meeting, I will immediately pass the message to my team member through the meeting. I will make sure they have a meeting consensually and submit the report so that all the issue can be solved immediately. Okay, I continue my sharing. Finally, my all team managed to achieve the goal as I further promote to the post Senior Growth Engineering SGE in 2019. Now I'm currently handling four branches with under my post uh, supervision. My life is and with, with all the experience, I have gained a lot of knowledge and experience for this big family. It was a beautiful memories with our team, with all the company event and annual, and annual company trip. I'm grateful that I chose this work with a wonderful MRC, make our life fun and easy. Apart from that, working in MRC for 14 years bring, bring a great difference in my lifestyle. Finally, I would like to share, I, I would like to say thank you to MRC for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Teacher Vesala, for your wonderful sharing and beautiful journey in MRC. And the last one will be the Principal Growth Engineer. Her name starts with capital letter S. Well, Fatin, S stand for what? S for success. S for teacher Shirley. Are you ready to share with us your great experience as MRC now? Okay, thank you to my beautiful house. Good evening, all. So first, I would like to thank uh, to MRC HQ for providing uh, this platform for my teams to do sharing uh, in this talk time. I'm joined MRC as a course instructor in year 2003. I changed from a teacher to a, to a partner because of an opportunity. So start an extra entrepreneurial growth. So today I'm a principal growth engineer. I own more than 12 centers. So all the times I need to do uh, a lot of uh, teacher's recruitment. During the interview, I will mention about the teacher's career path and they need to attend the training at the MRC HQ. They are so impressive uh, that join MRC, they can have a chance to be promoted. So when every new teachers join MRC, they start their CI career path. So who is the CI career path? Like just now, uh, all my team members is uh, mentioned about CI career path. So this is our MRC CI career path. So they will attend the MRC HQ training the basic training we call a COP. So they will become an assistant teacher before they handle a class. Principal will observe them and send them for a suitable training. Confirm their ability, they will formally promote to a quality head to handle a teacher's teaching quality and guide a new teacher. Next level, they can be promoted to a center supervisor to assist principal to manage a center. So parents inquiry and all the teachers. So after the CS, what is the next level? Of course, she has a chance to go for a principal level. Of course, she must be capable, complete all the HQ course training and pass the grading. When she is promoted, naturally the teacher below her will be promoted also. So her center will be expand and she will open a branches. So when is when she is responsibility for managing two center, she'll be promoted to an enroll growth engineer. So three center, she call a junior growth engineer. So when she manage a four center, so we call her as a senior growth engineer. So if let's say she manage more than 12 center, so she'll be like me, 
called a principal growth engineer. So everyone definitely will think, how to manage so many centers? So let me tell you, in MRC, having more than four centers is very common. So it's just like a few in my teams, like uh, teacher Yap, teacher Gomadi, teacher Rani, all of them is a enrolled growth engineer. They are handling a two center. Like my teacher Barcelona, she's handling a four center. Okay, okay so we have uh, this uh, modeling role model. So the, as you see, it's like one person, she show a uh, uh, example to her teachers. Like I'm, I'm the leader, I will show my example to my teacher Barcelona. So teacher Barcelona will see what I'm doing, what how I solve the problems, then she will also follow the same way will teach her teacher Gomadi. So teacher Gomadi, so our teacher Barcelona's uh, always go for training, always attending a meeting. Then teacher Gomadi also will do the same things. Then the teacher Gomadi will guide teacher Kathy. So all of them will slowly, slowly follow our CI career path and become uh, promoted. Okay, Teacher Shirley. Yes. How did you develop in team of growth perspective yeah, through your experience with MRC Career Path? Okay, I think the host the line is not so good. Never mind. Okay. So as a, as a leader, I think our mindset is very important. So I always ask my members to think entrepreneurially, even though they are just a teacher. Because in a business of education, teacher is our asset. Make every teacher thinking entrepreneurially. So I put this mentally in the behavior patterns of every teachers and always have a sense of entrepreneurship. Then there will be always have a mental reactions of looking for opportunity with this kind of driving force. Then they will find that they can develop at any times. So from times to times, we will organize a internal and activities to enrich their personal skill. So secondly, I think that is quite important is uh, lead by accountability. So the leadership uh, transparency is convert clear and business advantage. So build their loyalty, especially when the upper management is transparent, has a greater impact on subordinate. This helps to gain the trust and confidence in our subordinate. So how? How to get their confidence and uh, in our side. So what I feel that patience. All my team members, they need to join the development system. So the, the teacher is compulsory to attend all the HQ training. And two types of trainings for our teachers. One is entrepreneurship and management, and another one would be the training for a teacher's course. So with this training, we only need to send the teachers to the HQ for training, simple only. In this way, it can be guaranteed that the quality touched by the instructor and the developments of the center will not be broken. Number three, where I think that is very, very important is our meeting structure. So submit the report and having a meeting by level. Okay, so meeting system from a teacher meeting to center meeting means the PC, the principal have a meeting with their teachers. After that, come to the meeting among all the principals, then finally with their leaders meeting. So number three is in terms of service delivery system. So I always ensure that 
the each center can make the standard standard. Students have the same quality no matter where they are in the class. The next, okay, importance to recognize my teacher's ability. So how through this international carnival night, our 919 uh, night for our, our teachers. So this uh, international carnival night is a night to recognize their hard work and ability through uh, this day. Besides that, we also have uh, awards for our two years teachers service for the five years, for the 10 years, 15 years, and even 20 years teacher in this, in MRC. So the number four is the shape leadership. So in MRC, actually, we are actually made by uh, four groups of people. So you can see, wow, we have a so, so grand of uh, men, uh, uh, team members. Because this formed by uh, the four parties, that is the MRC HQ, the HQ staff, uh, all the principal, principal, and all the teachers. So under the leadership of the top, top management, we have uh, we form a strong emotions uh, big family. Finally, I will conclude my sharings uh, with this video. Chen 
飞，梦想共创辉煌。勇敢去飞翔，不畏惧阻挡，我们一起共赢共闯，共享。Wow! Thank you, Teacher Shelley, for your amazing experience with MRC. I'm very excited and motivated throughout your sharing just now. Okay, Patin, we are going to end our session. I would like to thank you to all panel for such a great sharing about the career with MRC career path. We will get to develop our skill and knowledge through the learning and process to build a great opportunity in the MRC platform. I will conclude that in teacher career life will be different when joining with the MRC career path. How about you, Fatin? Hmm, this is so inspirational, Ain. After listening to all panel sharing just now. Give yourself a moment to think. Is this the career path that you intend to grab in? Yeah, at MRC school, we got toddlers, Tasca, MRC kids, and MRC JSP program. So, you guys, why not you immediately take out your phone and contact us? Okay, you're welcome to join us. See you next year. You are going to have a great 